What's up guys? It's your boy Brando. Welcome back to my channel for yet another Call of Duty World War II news video. So today a Reddit user over on Reddit named Lacking a Good Name put a post up there today. It was about an hour ago and he says there are 13 new weapons, Commando Division, which we talked about earlier in an earlier video, and a DLC 3 war map location and more are coming to World War II. So that is pretty awesome. Um, can't wait to see what these guns look like and uh, how they interact with us as well um also there are face paints as well as those uh 13 new weapons coming and um so that'll be fun to actually paint your character your world war ii character and actually uh do different face paint for it so that'll be interesting uh that'll go along with maybe that's why the paint job for weapons went so long because maybe they're going to incorporate that and that's going to be uh, being able to paint your face. So that'd be interesting. But anyways, so there, the 13 new weapons uh, were all added with the latest patch. None of them which were present in the game source until this point. Uh, there are three rifles, five SMGs, two LMGs, two snipers, and one melee weapon, which looks like to be a sword. Um, let's see, there's a KGM-21, ZK-383, the Austin. The Betcha Week, I can't pronounce that, I'm not German. The Bliss Waki, I don't know. The EMP 44, the Mosin, PTRS 41, the Delisle, the Corcano, the Sword, of course. Uh, looks like it says Ribeye Rolls and the Chatter Roll. I don't know. I'll leave the link down in the description below so you guys can actually look at it. They also have some Wikipedia links uh, to these weapons. So if you want to see what they look like in real life, it will show you different images of that. So you guys can go ahead and do that. Also, the Commando uh, Division, they have some more details on that as well. Um, the Commando Division showed up uh, across the recent Division's overhaul. The presence of the aforementioned Division has become increasingly apparent after the latest patch. However, Division still seems to be a work in progress. All info is subject to change. On a personal note, this seems extremely powerful. It may be each that each skill will be split into separate basic trainings. Information is present in this little post here. So they're, they're thinking there's going to be a new division, but there's also going to be some OP basic trainings that's going to come with it. So maybe, maybe actually there'll be separate basic trainings that are coming out and they're going to add those to the game. But some people are thinking that it's coming with this division. But anyways, so the specialists for this basic training, uh, three tiers of basic trainings awarded after required amount of kills within uh while using this division unknown if player chosen or present uh basic or the preset basic trainings so to get uh unlock basic training one you got to get five kills basic training two 10 kills and unlock your third one you have to get 15 kills i imagine this is all in one match all in one game while you're using it uh, also in this division you'll get increased explosive damage resistance per crouch prone kill which is a plus two percent explosive damage resistance per kill there will be three tiers of explosive damage resistance, bronze, silver, gold. Increasing a tier is plus 10% explosive damage resistance. So that's the details for that on their uh, damage resistance. Uh, there will be increased sprint speed per hip fire kill, uh, plus 0.2% sprint speed per hip fire kill. Three tiers of sprint speed increase, which is bronze, silver, and gold. A bronze will be one kill. You'll get a plus. 2% sprint speed. Silver, you get 10 kills, and that'll be a plus 4%. And gold, which will be 25 kills, and you get a plus 7% in sprint speed. So that'll be interesting. Max sprint speeds increase is 25% after 119 kills. So instead of maybe one match, maybe this is over time. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. Uh, decreased recoil per headshot kill. There's three tiers, bronze, silver, and gold. One kill to be a negative 6% recoil, silver 10 kills, gold is 20 kills, which is a negative 35% recoil. And the max recoil reduction is 90% after 75 kills. Uh, also within this uh, new update that we have seen, there is also people are able to see where the DLC 3 war map will take place. And it will be in Tunisia, North Africa. Obviously, this information is subject to change, but... They have some objectives uh, listed for this. Capture the flag, hold a hard point, and then destroy an objective. These are all placeholder names. So it's uh, these are subject to change. You never know. But 
Um, the face camos added to the data structure containing heads and helmets for your soldier is face camos. There is currently no other info regarding these, but how exciting would that be to be able to do some tiger stripe, do your face all black, all white, maybe look like a clown. Maybe you could detail it like that. So that'd be interesting. Um, also within this patch that they got is a chrome tiger camo. Despite being present in the game since the beta build, the chrome tiger camo is now seemingly obtainable after the latest patch which also added the gold cheetah and leopard camos logically we can assume unlocking the gold cheetah leopard camos on all weapons will unlock the chrome tiger camo however there's no data to prove this so we will see maybe it's like the uh, secret camo like the uh, regular silver maybe you can do this uh, chrome tiger camo after you unlock all the camos on all your weapons and then you'll get that so that's really exciting. Uh, let me know if you guys ever unlock it. Please comment down below. Let me know that you guys are unlocking it and you were able to do it. And let me know how you did it. So, all right, that's all I have for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit that notification button so you guys never miss any uploads on daily Call of Duty video. All right, guys, until next video, I'll see you guys later.